What's good everyone, Vice here, back with another video, and today guys, I'm going to be talking about God of War Ragnarok, and before I get into this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit 100 subs by the end of this month, so, and we're pretty much in the middle of this month, so, you know, the clock is ticking, I guess. So, my last video did really well, which was shocking. You know, apparently someone, like, ran ads on my video by mistake, and it ended up getting, like, a thousand views somehow so that was cool but no one fucking subscribed so you know that that kind of sucked you know a thousand views is cool but if no one's gonna sub it's like damn it doesn't really mean much to me so i don't know if someone botted my channel or I, I have no idea it said that you know the viewers came from youtube advertising so apparently someone ran an ad on my content but anyway getting into this video you know i don't want to hold you guys up too long. There's supposed to be a PlayStation event coming in June. Now this news comes from Jeff Grubb. He isn't Jason Schreier, so like he doesn't have the insider knowledge that Jason has. Um, no disrespect to Jeff Grubb, but Jason just, he's he's like the god of insider information. Like, when he says something, it just happens to be true. I don't know how or who he's in contact with, but that just is what it is. But Jeff Grubb, he's he's a tier below. When, when Jeff Grubb says something, then you can have a little faith in it. And he says that we can expect an event during the first week of June. When I heard this, I was kind of surprised because last year, Sony had an event in September. Now, September is like three months from June. So yeah, that's, that's a ways away. So the fact that they even might be considering an event in June is kind of shocking, but at the same time, it isn't. So I'm going to explain that. So God of War Ragnarok is supposed to release this year. I know I've talked about a potential delay, but assuming it's supposed to come out this year, the clock is ticking on showing the game. And Corey Barlog came out and said, hey guys, uh, we're not ready to show it yet. And if they're not ready to show it in April when the video came out, then you think that maybe in June they would be ready. Uh, like give them a month and a half, they'll be ready to show this game. That would make more sense to me. And on top of that, PlayStation is introducing a new, not service, but a revamp to their service, PlayStation Plus. So it's pretty much going to combine PlayStation Now and PS Plus in one service. That's going to be a big deal. And this revamp occurs in June. So it would be a good idea for them to advertise that revamp so people can understand what's going to happen. Because when it's introduced, there are going to be a lot of people that are going to be a bit confused. The reason for that is because, well, there's like 40 plus million people on PlayStation Plus right now. So when they see this new revamp, they're going to be a bit confused. So having like a state of play or an event detailing the revamp would be a good idea. Now, I don't know if that, that'll be the case. Maybe they say, you know, fuck it, we'll just drop it anyway. Now, Jeff Grubb also said that there's a possibility that the event will occur in September, like last year. So we should expect that as well. But June being thrown around is very interesting. And that's also before Microsoft's event. So maybe Sony wants to set the standard. Typically, they go after, like when they were at E3, they would go after Microsoft, I believe. So that'll definitely be a bit unexpected but i think that june is a good month people want to see god of war again you have the new service coming in june or the revamp to your service coming in june and on top of that people want to see the 2023 games because outside of like spider-man like what is coming out in 2023 hopefully not god of war because we want that to come out this year i guess we'll see i guess we'll see and as far as my opinion on this being likely or not you know i think there's a good chance that this could be this could be an event that we can expect but at the same time the pessimist inside of me definitely believes that we can expect an event in September. Sony really doesn't give a fuck right now. Like, but at the same time, Microsoft has made a lot of moves. So maybe Sony will try and, you know, show them what they got. I, I don't know. Like this year and, you know, the last couple of years have been kind of weird for gaming. A lot of acquisitions have happened. Sony has kind of dominated, but then Xbox is, you know, trying to take it back, but then they don't drop any fucking games this year. So it's like... I don't really know what's going to happen. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. I don't really want to give a prediction at this point. But yeah, you know, j this is just something to keep in mind. Hopefully it is true. The sooner we get to see God of War, the sooner we get to see more PlayStation games, the more excited we can be. So 
yeah guys make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe for more content i'm trying to hit 100 subs by the end of this month and yeah uh do all that good stuff and i'll see you all in the future vice out peace